Hello, and my name is Lee, and welcome to Journey of a Student Nurse. So, welcome to today's video. So, if you've not, this is our sort of second video in this series called Gaming of a Student Nurse. So, this series is just intended to focus around sort of self care and just have time to relax, just unwind, and just play some games. That's all we're doing with this uh, with this we season that season yeah season we're doing. So if you've not seen the first video where um, I went into a bit more detail discussing what we're going to be doing in this, I will leave a link in the description to this video below. So, but just to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do. So the idea of this is to play games and just have time and chill. Like I said, that's all it is about. There's nothing more to it than that. So, what today we are playing Satisfactory. So the aim is to build a factory on a new world, basically. That's the aim of the game. I have had this game for a wee while now, um, but what I've actually done recently is I got to a point where I was building a factory and I just, just like, you know what? I've made a complete mess of this, and I, when I say mess, I made a complete mess of this. So I wasn't happy with it, so I've deleted it. But um, we're going to go back to the same area where I had the factory before, so that we can build a new factory there. So we've got three options where we can build of this of this planet. We've got the grass fields rocky desert or the northern forest and um, I shall say this is all on the same planet so we're, we just need to choose so a session name we're gonna call it journey if I can spell it right actually there we go and we're gonna go to the grass fields session name already in use How about we'll call it we'll call it this creating online session. So I'm going to shut up for a wee minute now, and I'm going to let the the game talk us through what we're going to do and where we're going. So I'm going to be quiet now. Attention Pioneer, the following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Fixit Pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Warning, planet fall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Atmospheric entry in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Planet fall procedure initialized. I do have to say though, I do quite like the effects on on this like entry kind of to the planet. I like the sort of atmospheric effects, just the fire and everything. It does look quite cool. So I'm quite impressed with that. The detail inside this wee rocket to, uh, drop module, what you want to call it, is pretty good actually. So overall, quite satisfied with it. And I'll probably end up at some point using the term satisfactory. I'll probably end up bringing a pun into this. Okay. Oh, well, that's quite a smooth landing. 
Please ensure the integrity of your multi-purpose exploration suit is at 100%. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Okay, so... Welcome to Planet Massage 2 AB. So, this voice is gonna... First objective, please do... Yeah. Yeah, I know. Take down the take down the thing. I'm really bad when it comes to this. But second objective. Please ensure you have your fix it incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. Note. According to fix it regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. <laughs> yeah. Third objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note, the acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. So, so our first objective is to find sort of iron ore and stuff. But, I do have to say though, if I were going to an alien planet, like being dropped off on the alien planet, I this would... consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. So, what I've been picking up so far these are sort of wee pale berries. And... This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner yeah. identification. Okay. Initial scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Okay, so this voice will go on quite a bit, and it does get a bit wearsome after a wee while. So, it, yeah, it does, as I said, just get a bit to the point where you're just like, oh, I've had enough. But, as I was saying before, she interrupted again. If I were being dropped off on an alien planet, I would at least like a, a wee, like, sword or something, or at least like a like proper proper defense system such as maybe like a wee gun or something so but i do know that in this game i think it, they have to they are being sort of they're being correct in this sort of way that they're trying not to impose too much violence and when i mean violence using guns and stuff i can probably if that's i can see it from that point of view but as you'll probably see in a wee moment, it's not exactly going to be the case. So, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm picking up all these leaves, and you might think, why am I doing this? Well, once we've built up our uh, hub, if you like, these leaves are going to come in very useful in providing us fuel for building, uh, well, for providing us initial fuel and stuff. And it's very, so getting as much early on as we can is going to be a lifeline. And as we go on, I will explain a wee bit more what will happen. Oh, we've got more. Brilliant. And see these nuts that we're picking up as well? They're fabulous. And they're, they have healing properties. So as you can see at the bottom left hand of the screen, we've got... Um, our health bar and this will go down pretty quickly and it will become obvious why in a moment so they've designed this game well and when I mean designed well to the point where we come to a new near to a new resource that they are sort of armadillo type creatures such as that, oh boy. Whoa, and yeah. And they run pretty quick. So you see what I mean? Whew. Studying the remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend Sheepers. yourself in the future. Yeah, we know, we know. But like I said though, 
they come up pretty quick. Hence why I said I would, I think, have a better defense. Uh, crud, we've got another one. Uh, let's get the high ground. Where are you? You can't get me if I'm on the high ground. Let's get up on the high ground. Where is it? Alright, I know it's there somewhere. Alright, where are you? Where are you, you wee beastie? Right. You don't just banish like that, that's, that's the thing. It will have run somewhere. There it is. Or, I don't know. But. There we go. Right, what have we got? Limestone. Impure. Right, I'll explain that in a wee moment. But, what I'm interested in is this. This is, this is kind of one of the things we're looking for. This is copper ore. We are to find iron ore, but... Right, so we've got limestone, we've got copper, but we just need to get ourselves some um, iron ore. But, I want you to listen to this. This, when we use our wee chisel, it's going to sound like Queen We Will Rock You. We will, we will rock you. So, you see what I mean? It, tell me if you think it does sound like We Will Rock You by Queen. So, this is the area where I had my factory before. Now, I'm going to build my new factory in this area. Now, there's a few reasons I want to build it in this area rather than, say, somewhere else at the moment first of all this is a really good bit of flat ground and it's a wide open space and also just like so where we are where our big sort of land whale type fish thing is over there there is what we need so we've got our iron ore over here so and this is kind of what we want. We've got iron ore over here, we've got copper, we've got limestone, we've got more iron ore up there, we've got copper around the area, more limestone over there. So we've got a nice natural deposit, if you like. Come at me, you wee beastie. Right, where are you? Ah! High ground, high ground. Way. Where are you? Well, you just get on that plumbing. See? Right, since we've actually got a reasonable amount of health, I'm gonna go after him. He's coming back for the attack run. There we go. Right, seeing as we got one more over there, we'll we'll go after him. I've got so much better at this since I started. <laughs> now, when I was talking about earlier that this game doesn't inflict violence, hmm. This is, I find this quite strange that though you're to build a factory on an alien world, it is theoretically a non-violent game by the sounds of it. But you are killing these creatures, which is a real, real shame. Or a wee shame because I don't think they intend if this was real life, I don't think they'd be intending harm. In in a sense, we are an alien on their world and we're invading their space. We're a foreign object on their on their planet. So we're not natural to that environment. So it's understandable. But at the end of the day, we're to build a factory as I'm supposing this is based in the future and that the planet Earth is basically run out of resources because we've just used them all up and we're needing more. That's probably what it's for. Anyway, we're going to build our, we're going to get the bit first bit of our factory done. So we're going to get this iron ore 
discovered. And we're going to listen to Queen again. We will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Oh well. So, we've got our iron ore. And we've got, we've got the deposits here. Now, <clears throat> we've got the debate of how we're going to build the factory. But for now, we're just going to build, we're going to build our hub somewhere. So to do that, we're going to build, we're going to use the Q key. And I'm just going to put my hub probably, let's see, oh, uh, stand back a little bit. Let's get onto this iron ore. Kind of want it there, see. Just, and there'll be reasons for it in a moment. And I find this kind of ironic that... Congratulations, uh, you have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. That hub feature, hub could... terminal. Fifth objective, hub upgrade, storage and power. Okay. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal. Yeah, so basically what she's saying there is we've got a craft bench now. And on this craft bench we can build various different things. So we can build iron ingots. Um, so we can we can build some iron ingots and stuff. Now, in order to build iron ingots, we need to have iron ore. So we're going to build these for now. Now, this is a bit tedious, and until later on in the game when you can start to automate more stuff, it does does wear a bit, and that's one of the problems early on in the game. Once you've started to automate stuff, it's so much easier. But once you've done that, you can build different things. So you can start to build iron plates and iron rods. So basically, iron plates, iron rods, you get more stuff. You can build, you can use iron plate. You can turn iron plates into reinforced iron plates. So you need iron plates, then you need iron rods, which you need to convert the iron rods into screws. And then you use the screws and iron plates to make reinforced iron plates. So there's different recipes that you will get throughout the game. And you do these by going over to the hub here. So we've got a tier zero at the moment. So, and as you go through the different tiers, you can start to build different things. So we're going to build this milestone. Use this milestone here. We're going to build iron rods. We just need 10 of them at the moment. I'm just going to use the whole lot as, to be honest, Got 30 there. We select 10. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do what I just did there. You can just do a double click with the mouse, or if you want, you can drag them and drop them. But I just tend to just double click it. So it's a bit easier. It's a less tedious job. So we'll let her say her thing. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator, hub feature personal storage. Scanner feature, copper. Okay, so we've now got a scanner, which we've got. So, oh, so if we hold the C button, we can select between iron ore or copper ore. So, we already know we've got copper ore over there. And if you see on the wee compass at the top, copper ore is over here. And we've got some up on the hill just there as well, but we won't worry about that too much for now and I like just to push this button for obvious for some reason so what I want to think about is we see we've got leaves and we've got wood as well this is going to help us power this eventually this is a biomass burner so we can basically use this to convert into electricity or create power for the hub eventually that's the one of the things we can do so, what we're going to worry about at the moment is thinking about what we can build. Now, I want to get some iron plates built so we can build an equipment workshop, as we will need this in a wee while. So, we'll build some iron plates. And we'll build this craft bench just here, or equipment workshop. Right, we'll turn it that way, just... And then we'll chuck her just there. 
Now, the good thing about this is, unlike the hub, which you, where like the hub you can only have one thing, you can have hundreds of equipment workshops and you can go on to build more craft benches as well. So you can have loads of these scattered about, which is good. Is that a... what is that? Is that like a wet floor sign or something? Or is that just a trip hazard sign? Trip hazard. I like how they've got safety in this game. That's interesting. I never noticed that when I first got the game and I played it before. I never noticed that. I think that's just a new feature. Hmm. Health and safety gone a bit far, maybe? But what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to do a run around. Get loads of leaves. Now, I know this sounds really stupid, but I prefer to do leaf collection during like daylight hours. As this game, well, technically I don't know if it has like a 24 hour cycle or not, but it has a night feature as well. And at night it's going to be, it's a, I think it might, it is a wee bit harder to see if any beasties like those armadillo, lion type things, whatever you want to call them. It is harder to see them. So, and that being said, with that being harder to see, that makes it a little bit more dangerous for us. So we'll close this. Right. And we're just going to have, we're going to restore a bit of our health just because we can. And also, it just means that we're in good health when it comes to going to do some more stuff. So, what can we do on this? We can build a variety of different things. We, we can build, um, eventually we'll be able to build quite a lot of things, but at the moment we want to start building portable miners. Now, there's a reason for this, is if you think about it at the moment, we just took away this iron, this iron ore. Now, there's three ways you can mine on this. You can do, you can push the E button and use the chisel like so and you can get stuff. You can get a portable miner which is okay. But the portable miner is only good for so much and it can only pick up 100 pieces. So at the moment, you see we're collecting different bits here. So at the moment we've got like 30 bits. Okay, now we've got 46 pieces. Now, I'm going to go into my inventory. Now, you see these wee squares here? Each square can hold 100 pieces. So at the moment, we've got 46 pieces of iron ore in our inventory. Once that reaches 100, it will start another 100 pieces there. So that would be 100, then it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 again. That's how it works, the portable miners. They can only hold 100 pieces. Uh, the the lag in this. Oh boy. Well, that was just odd. <laughs> Had a bit of lag there for a second. Hmm. Yeah. Do apologise for that. My antivirus seems to have expired today. <laughs> so. That will need to be uh, fixed up. So that's probably what was causing the lag there, because it was trying to load up. Hmm. Anyway, what we want to do is it's kind of head to our somewhere deposits, and we need to start thinking about uh, where was our copper one? Was it over here? Wasn't it? We want to start thinking about our other. Where was our one? Where was that copper one? Sure. Did we have copper ore? I really can't remember now. Anyway. We're going to head back to the hub. I think we put some stuff in the... In our wee box. No, nope, what do we have? We have... Co yeah, where we do it? No, there's... Anyway want to convert into copper ingots. So, as I said, this is like the tedious bit of the game and there's a lot, you would be doing a lot of this early on.
so what we just there is we had copper copper ore and we've converted that into copper ingots now we can convert it into wire see and we can convert wire into cable as well I'm not going to convert all of it into because we will need some of it eventually actually sorry I was lying about the boxes I mean so I think I think is it 500 yet? Yeah, well, it's 500. I'm lying. Each of these holds a 500, and miners hold a hundred. It goes to show I've not played this in a while. My memory is really bad. I do apologise. Anyway, we're going to head back to the bench. So, what do we need to build our portable miner? We need 100. We need iron plates. So we don't have any at the moment. So we're going to convert into iron our iron ingots into iron ore, or iron ore into iron ingots. Sorry. Um, we'll create that. So I'm just going to use all of it up as it's just a bit easier at the moment. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for about. I was going to convert anyway. I was going to do some iron plates there, but uh, iron rods even. Anyway, we've got what we need. So. We've got our iron plates, and we've got our iron, we've got our copper wire, and we've got our cable. Now, we can build four portable miners, which is what I'm going to do at the moment. I'm going to build the maximum number we can. Um, just because, well, mainly because we can, but at the moment, what I'm going to want to do is start to think about putting our miners at different, pardon me, different locations around the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to our deposit here and I'm going to put uh, an, a miner down on this. The good thing about the miner is you don't actually need to run it on electricity which is actually the good thing on this. Oh, uh, so I'll put the miner down there. I'm going to head over to our next site. We're going to head over to the limestone just here. Now, there's a reason I'm going for the limestone. And when we start to upgrade this, we'll be able to convert this into concrete. And we'll be able to use the concrete for foundations. And this will become the base of our factory. So, I'm going to put a portable miner onto there to allow us to to get that and then what we're going to do is we're going to head back to our copper our copper ore and we're going to get that as well and then we're going to we're going to mine that and we should be all right for that now it does as i said this is does seem a bit tedious. Is this limestone or is this the copper? That's limestone. So, I was mentioning earlier, you've got three type. You've got three types here. You've got pure, impure, and normal. So, impure would does what it says in the tin. It's not. You're not going to get when you start to use the bigger miners and stuff. Oh, more of those. Oh, actually, seeing as we're up here. We should get the Xeno Zapper up. Totally forgot about that in case we run into beasties, which there's one there. And trying to find where was that copper deposit? I'm sure it was like there was one we came across. But I just can't remember where it is. Anyway, that's not a big deal at the moment. We've got what we need, we've got We've got limestone, we've got copper. But anyway, we're going to head up here. Because I know there is a copper deposit just up there. And again, when you've got the chance, grab as many things as you can. Right. Always be aware of beasties. There's one.
There we go. And we got pure ore up here, which is good. We will, we will rock you. There we go. So, we're going to mine this as well. So, and we will come to a point where we will use a lot of this. But at the moment, we are going to use more iron ore than, say, oh crud, we're gonna, yep, we hurt ourselves. Let's get the Xeno Zapper up. Do it while we're on the move. Um, the reason I'm going to uh, put another miner down on the copper ore, uh, iron ore, sorry, is it's just because we will be using more of this as the game goes on, and it's the biggest one at the moment. When we start to build more things like uh, power poles and electric lines and all that sort of stuff, we will need like copper wire or copper to convert into sort of uh, to convert it into other stuff to the to the my brain's gone on a fart to like the cables and stuff. So that will become will come eventually. So so as you probably can see here, the miner's not doing a thing now. And that's because it's full. So we'll go grab that and then we'll head up to our other miner and we will we will collect its resources. So you can probably see it's still drilling away. At the moment we've got no space for that. So what we'll do is we'll just throw that away at the moment. Create a bit of space for that. So get our zapper back up. That will probably help to, we could have probably kept that. One petal is not going to make a huge difference to be honest. But at the moment we um, want to start converting more stuff into our iron ore and stuff and how, what do we need, we need more cable for the portable miners. So I would like to build a few more of these eventually in in the game and we'll put, the, put that away and we'll put those away at the moment. So we'll quickly build some iron or copper ingots because we can build cable out of it. Now I'm just going to use the copper at the moment, get, use it up because it's going to free up a space in the in our inventory and at the moment space is of a premium and the more space we can get the better. There we go and we're going to build some copper wire or wire anyway and we're just going to build some cable. So. get some more copper wire going trying to be resourceful because when you're building copper wire or the cable it takes out the copper wire that you've made already so that's the slightly annoying thing about it yeah this is the bit that takes the longest I won't I'll do this probably off camera but when we finish the, this today I'll do a lot more of the building when or this can sort of stuff when I'm away but but at the moment we want to build iron plates at the moment so at the moment we've currently got 26 iron plates I'm going to build a few more as it will allow us to build a few more portable miners okay Okay, there we go and it actually is going to allow us to build 10 portable miners which unfortunately we won't have the space for we can only build about five before um, it will all go but that's okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly pop over here and we're just going to pop another miner down So, we'll just quickly do this, and then 
that will be oop wrong button. Pop that down. And that will allow us to do that. I won't run over to the limestone or the copper at the moment. Grab that and we will grab this. So we've got 100 at the moment. Is it, I don't know how it works. Some of these boxes are weird. I think I'm, I don't know how they work. Anyway, we're going to have a look at the hub upgrades we can get. So this is the tier two upgrades that we we can get. And theoretically, we don't need to like the upgrade two. We don't need to rush this at the moment, but. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly uh, build, get this because it's going to allow us to build a few more things in this. So we've currently got uh, we've got lime, we've got limestone, and that's going to allow us to build concrete, and we can get biomass as well, and get our constructor as well. So we'll select that as a milestone, and we'll put what we need in. So we've got iron rods. Uh, we've got some iron plate somewhere and we've got copper wire but um, do we have oh dear we don't have enough copper All right but that's not to worry because we've got a plan so we've got we've got our portable miners we can build we can build another we can get another miner up there which will be good so I'm just going the long way up here grabbing as much bio, bio well, leaves and stuff and I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do one more thing in this video grab another miner actually tell you what I might do actually I might put another miner down here actually um because it will it will prove useful to get more eventually as the game goes on so we'll sprint back to base grabbing more leaves on the way and we'll build some copper ore very quickly we'll copper we'll keep wire anyway and then we will do the hub upgrade to level two not enough space so okay what can we do here well firstly we can go into our storage box and we will deposit the leaves so we'll do that and we shall build copper ingots now we don't actually need a lot for this particular bit which is the good bit so we'll just put the last remaining bit and level 2 is built. Congratulations. So we can now build other stuff as well on this. So we can now build concrete, which is fantastic. And what we've got as well is we've got two additional storage bits as well, which will prove to be useful eventually. So and that's going to be the good thing. We can also build reinforced iron plates as well, because we've now got we've got rods, iron rods, which we can convert into screws, and which we can then build reinforced iron plate. It's not going to be very useful at the moment, but it's going to be something we will use a bit later on in the game. In here, we've got a little bit more storage as well, and now we've got this empty shell, probably not much, but this empty shell will eventually become our home. There is one thing I want to show as well, where if it's on there, and it's this. So we'll grab the leaves that we had before. Now this is why I wasn't wanting to automate stuff just yet, because we can build biomass, 
and biomass is a lot more is a much more efficient fuel than say leaves are now when it comes to burning stuff when we come to these things here this is what's known as a biomass burner now I could easily chuck leaves in this and or wood and it would power up it would power what we need to automate things such as say a smelter which we have an example of here I'm not going to build one just yet but we can we could automate that stuff already and we could start powering up but at this stage in the game it's easier to actually build stuff a bit more at the moment but what we'll do eventually is we'll build a constructor or well, a smelter and then we will put that and we'll build a constructor as well to create biomass and eventually we can create biofuel as well and bio just meaning like the natural stuff but at the moment I'm not going to be too worried by it we're just going to put this back into the thing for now and then, oh, we've got some more leaves there, brilliant. We'll just build more what we can, which will be good. Because the more biomass we've got at the moment, uh, eventually we'll get two biomass burners and we'll be able to increase our output for, um, for, the, for the biomass. So that'll be good. Well, I'll be able to have more biomass being burnt and more we can and we can power and eventually this will become our we'll be able to get a biomass generator as well and then we'll be able to power up a mini factory if you like or a very small production line and then we'll just build the resources we need to basically st kind of get us off the ground and then once we've got to a certain level we can get coal power in the game as well and then once we've got coal power, we can then power it, we can get the coal generators and have more power being supplied. And then once we've kind of done that, the hub be kind, can, kind of becomes irrelevant in a way, which is a wee shame actually. But nonetheless though, it will become a sort of main, that will become, the coal will be our main power for a while. And then I think you can go on to get other sources of power as well. I can't think, I don't know, no it's not nuclear, what is it? Oh, uh, it's some sort of other natural, uh, I don't know what it is. But we can get alternative powers and then coal will become somewhat irrelevant. Anyway, that's it nearly for us there, but what we're going to do is we will see what we can do, see what's in our... So we can see here we've got power lines and power poles and stuff. Can we build another hub? What do we know? We need a. What do we need to build another hub? Actually, be interesting. What is that? Hub parts. I don't think we've even got that actually in the, in the game. But I find that odd. It's still, that they have another one of those. Oh well. Anyway, we will leave it for there. What we'll do? We'll well, the next time we come to play this, I'll probably do more just kind of behind the scenes and just build, get more like biomass, more iron plates and stuff like that. So just because that's the stuff that's a bit boring. But also, we will go fight some more bad guys as well. You know, get some more of these wee beasties. And then we will continue to upgrade the hub. So... As you can probably see, we'll, we're already starting to get more stuff out of it. And then, as we go up through the tiers as well, these various upgrades, we can get different things. And like I said though, we can get a biomass burner. Or, did I say generator? I said bam. Anyway, biomass burner is basically a much another generator. So we can have a much larger output of electricity, or power anyway. Create more power our electricity for our power grids and then we can start building our factory if you like start getting the foundations built or more foundations built and starting to create the factory of our dreams and that's it so that's it for today's video i hope that you have enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you in the next video for on in the series now as i said i'll just quickly say though that this series we're going to be playing a number of different games so 
from things such as Train Simulator, Satisfactory, My Summer Car, and Euro Truck Simulator 2. Those are the games that we're going to be mainly playing at the moment, and we're going to be kind of mixing it up at the moment. But let me know if you want more Satisfactory, and if this is something that you guys really want more of, um, I might do a, a separate series on this on the channel, and we'll see how things go with it. So that's it for us in this video. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video, and bye for now.